Welcome everyone. If you clicked on this video, you must have a couple of questions. Well, I am here to answer those questions, so let's begin. These are the changes Undying Games have made to their map. Uh, right off the bat, they show us a bridge that goes over the river and also some awesome verticality as well as some sort of river camp. And here you see is where the river is actually intersecting the lane. And then here you see some of the jungle and a jungle camp. It looks as though they are indeed using the same minions uh, for the jungle camp and the river camp. Again, this is pre alvels so they still have a ton of changes to make, but this is looking fantastic thus far. Also, just so everyone is aware, the trees seem to be climbable by classes such as reapers, and I wouldn't doubt that they could be destroyed by berserkers. Next, you are seeing the actual lane. You'll see towers that are still going to be redone. They are currently just placeholders. As you see, there are two tiers of towers in the lane. Where's the third tier, you might ask? Well, the third tier is actually going to be a gatekeeper for the core room. This is going to be on all three lanes, but it's not shown here. So instead of a tower for the third tier, it is going to be a monster. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, give it a like and don't forget to check out their YouTube channel as well. And guys, if you want to stay up to date on all things ethereal, check out their Discord. The links are in the description below. And here's the other side of the river from what we saw earlier, and they are showing it from the outside going to the actual lane once again. So here you will see a landmark. This is still on the bottom lane and my guess is that this is near the outer edge of the bottom lane, though it does look like it could have some sort of camp here. We can only speculate though. Also you will see a similar layout on the opposite side except the big tree there on the opposite side is on fire. That will be shown near the end of the video. We are now looking at the core room which will house each team's titan. This room is located at the end of the bottom lane with the other lanes having portals that lead into the core room. Next is the mid lane. Now guys what you are seeing is actually the edge of the map I believe as well as the portals that go to the other lanes. So if you look right behind that waterfall, you'll see a rune of some sort. That is the portal, and there are four of them on the mid lane, two on either side of the lane, and two for each team. Here is the actual lane the minions will be traveling. As you see, there are staircases that go down into the area that we just saw. And in the middle there, you see a hole. That hole is a way to get to the bot lane. If you are not in combat, because if you are, well, you'll just die if you fall down that hole. Here you can see the length of the lane and at the end you see another one of those ruins which are the teleporters and that one leads directly into the core room which the core room is located on the bottom lane. And here you guys see the top lane. Guys if you're wondering man it's so open. Well, I believe that is because it's going to be the home of the Sky Slayer. This is what you can expect to encounter going down a lane and also gives you an idea of the length of the lane. So you got your first and second tier towers and right in front of the portal is going to be your gatekeeper that serves as the third tier tower. Also the orb above the portal is a side indicator. This is the blue side. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think the meta is going to be as far as lane setup. Is it going to be two top lane, one mid lane, one bottom lane with two jungles? Or something else? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you guys want to stay tuned for more ethereal content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.